Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to boost your Fortnite FPS by literally changing one simple setting in Windows. That's right guys, all we'll be changing today is the priority setting for the Fortnite EXE. And what this will do guys, is it'll improve and boost your performance of your game as more resources can be utilized by your PC. The results will differ depending on what PC you have and your individual specs. But for the majority of you guys watching at home, you should see a pretty decent difference in FPS when doing this. If you don't, it's not worry guys as it's super easy to revert. All you've got to do is set it from high, which we will be setting it to today, back to the default setting, which is normal. It's definitely worth trying guys and that's why I just had to make a video today as it did work out for me pretty well. But yeah, if this video does go ahead to help you guys out, you guys know the drill, just drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you would like to support me directly, be sure to use my code CODELIFE in the Fortnite item shop when purchasing any skins. You guys know that helps me out a ton and it really is appreciated. But yeah, back to the video, let's now change the priority of the Fortnite EXE to high. So to do this guys, the first thing you all want to do is open up Fortnite as we need to have the game open and running in order to change its priority in Windows. Once you have opened up Fortnite, you guys then want to go ahead and open up your task manager. There's two different ways of doing this. You can either press Ctrl, Alt and Delete all at the same time, then click on the task manager button. Or alternatively, you can just simply press on the little arrow at the right side of your desktop and open up the task manager that way. Once you are in the task manager, you guys want to all then find the Fortnite EXE. To find this, just head over to the Details tab and you should see the Fortnite EXE. It'll be called Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. Just right click on that guys and you want to set the priority to high and then click change priority. After doing this, there will be two possible outcomes. It'll either change it to high and work perfectly, which if it does guys, that's great. Just restart your game for it to take action. However, for the majority of you, I think you will get an error message that says access denied. If this does pop up, you guys will all need to do the following fix. Before I do show you that fix though, I wanna say that this doesn't mean that it's not allowed or anything like that by Epic Games. Don't worry, it is, trust me on that one. The reason it is popping up with this error message is because Fortnite just had the priority set to normal and we all want to set it to high. It's not a big deal though as to get past that block all you've got to do is a few simple steps. The first step guys is to firstly close down Fortnite. For me I just did that easily by ending the task in the task manager. After closing down Fortnite you want to go to your desktop and press the Windows key and R at the same time. In that Windows run box you want to type in reg edit then you want to press enter and then click yes. And then guys, once you are in the reg edit, you want to all follow what I do on screen right now. You want to go on the H key local machine, then software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, and then you want to right click on the image file execution options folder. You then want to click on new and then click key. You guys then want to title the key the Fortnite executable name, which is Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping.exe. When you are typing that in, by the way, make sure that the name is all capitalized correctly. What I'll do here, guys, to make it all easier for you, I'll just put this name in the description below so that you can just simply copy and paste it in. When you are copy and pasting it in, though, or typing it out manually, make sure that there's no spaces on either end. All you want as a title is the name, and that's it. But yeah, after you've done that, you guys then want to make another subfolder slash key like the one we've just made. To do this, again, just right click on the one we literally just created, click new, and then click key. For this key, we're going to call it pref options with a capital P and a capital O. To make it easy for you all again, I'll leave this in the description as well if you do want to copy and paste it straight in there. And then guys, once you have gone and done that, all you need to do now is create a new D word. To do this, just right click on that pref options folder we've just made, click new, and then click D word 32 bit value. It's really important guys that you do click the 32 bit and not the 64. For this D word though, we want to all call it CPU priority class. That's 
that's a capital C, a capital P and a capital C again. I'll leave that also in the description below if you guys want to copy and paste it straight in. Remember though, when you are copy and pasting all of these in, there needs to be no spaces on either end. And yeah, once you've titled it that guys, you just want to double click on the D word that we've just created and set the value data to number three. And yeah guys, that's literally all you've got to do. Now when you do go ahead and open up Fortnite, it'll be set to the highest priority possible, which again, that is high as by default it is set to normal. By doing this though, it should improve the Fortnite FPS, which will in turn make your game feel a lot more smoother. If your game doesn't feel smoother, make sure that it is definitely set to the high priority, which to do this, just open up your task manager, head over to the details, right click on the Fortnite EXE, and make sure that the set priority is set to high. Then either restart your game or restart your computer, and it should work perfectly. I really do hope that this video helped you all out. If it did, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and use code life in the Fortnite item shop. That's all from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.